A guilty plea today from the former Franklin Regional student who was accused of stabbing 20 classmates and a security guard. Alex Reibel pleaded guilty to 21 counts each of attempted homicide and aggravated assault. Westmoreland County Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti was in the courtroom. He joins us live now with what happened. Ross? After three years plus some months of waiting, Alex Reibel's trial on charges he tried to kill some of his classmates and a staff member at Franklin Regional High School was supposed to start in the next month. But today, Alex Reibel entered a Westmoreland County courtroom today and he said, basically, I'm guilty of all the charges and he's going to let the court decide if he should go to jail and for how long. Alex Reibel walked into the Westmoreland County Courthouse and did what was expected. Entered a general plea of guilty on charges stemming from his April 9th, 2014 knife attack on fellow students at Franklin Regional High School. I sincerely believe that uh, Alex is mentally ill, um, but we didn't have much choice but to enter this plea. I mean, we didn't want to put all these students and families through a trial. Rival's attorney after today's plea hearing, Rival faced 42 counts of attempted murder and aggravated assault, plus one charge of possessing a weapon on school grounds. Judge Christopher Feliciani asked Rival why he was entering a general guilty plea today. Rival simply replied, because I am guilty. So he's not making any excuses. He stood up there like a man this morning and said, I'm guilty. It's been a long time for the victims, you know, waiting for today. I think they're, you know, happy about the fact that now they can see an end, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Westmoreland County District Attorney John Peck spoke after the hearing today, saying he believes the plea offer to Rival of 30 to 60 years behind bars, which Rival rejected, fits the crime. Um, that was felt to be an appropriate sentence you know, based on the circumstances and the amount of harm that was caused and also based on, to some degree, the defendant's own circumstances of being a 16-year-old. We're going to present a lot of things to the judge at sentencing, and it's, it's Judge Feliciani's decision as to what sentencing will be. Taking all of the charges and potential sentences into account, Alex Reibel could face up to 800 years behind bars, but that most likely is not going to happen. Pre-sentence reports are now going to be filed and must be with the judge in the next 90 days. It's after that point that the judge will render how long Alex Reibel should be behind bars. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News.